the Prix de Dagrick Matan is next. A three mile grade two chase. Wooden ship at the top for Leon van Rensburg. Mallorca Dream, David Hurley, Queen of the Night, John Morgan, San Pedro Cartel, Vinnie Gerard, the widow, Joshua Sutherland, Bridge Paul, Darren Thompson, Bring Me Luck, Graham Clutterbuck, Giran Citizen, David Robertson, Sizzling Tower, and then he did it again, Paul Parsons, Smell of Victory, Leon van Rensburg, My Place Later Days, James Shea, Passionate Queen, David Robertson, Storky Dove, John Morgan, The Contract, Craig Beckwith, and Zara Cover, Darren Thompson, 15 of the men. In the pre Nick Drag Mata, and they're away and racing. And the Storky Dove out into the lead, the John Morgan front runner. All safely over the first, and as usual, it's a four or five length lead for the John Morgan charge. With Bridge Paul in second, Zara cover third, and the Widow. Queen of the Night, and the Contract and San Pedro Cartel. After that one, so passing the winning post then, you can see sometimes they pass the winning post on this side, and sometimes they pass it on the other side. Strange old track or toy, but anyway, it's Storky Dove in the lead. From Zara Cover, and Queen of the Night and Bridge Paul bring me luck is next as they take the third. Sizzling Tail just struggling at the back. At this early stage of the race, but there's a long way to go yet. And Storky Duff. Leads over the fourth. Do Zara Cover and Queen of the Night. Over the fifth mistake there was by G Round Citizen. As they dropped this funny gate thing. So we're we seeing that today. We're seeing a football pitch in the middle of the course as well. So presumably this is a different part of the track to what we've used previously today. Oh, I've not been paying attention. Anyway, <laughs> they get over that one and they are well strung out now. Sure, that top class horses should be jumping over railings like this, but oh, there you go. Passionate Queen, the back marker obviously doesn't like it. And he's attempting to tail herself off, I think. And Storky Dove is in front, getting over the next. From Bridgepool in second, the Widow is third, then Queen of the Night, and Zara Cover, Mallorca Dream, and then Smell of Victory. That's the that little group, there's a gap of a couple of lengths then to Smell of Victory and G Round Citizen, My Place Later Days, Wooden Ship, Size in Tail, San Pedro Cartel and Bring Me Luck, and then finally Passionate Queen who's now being pushed along but he's getting back in touch with the rest of them. Obviously hoping no more of those railings turn up. Into Fence 11. Safely over that one, all still on my feet. We come past the stands again now. We're possibly going to take a water jump, are we? Indeed, we are. We've got that other part of the course for the finish of the race next time. When it's Storky Dove in the lead. Bridgeport second, Queen of the Night third, then the Widow, Smell of Victory, G Round Citizen, a Yorker Dream. Uh, one or two mistakes there down on its nose was the Craig Beckwith horse the contract. And recovered okay. Storky Dove continuing to show the way home as they're heading down towards the final mile, just eight and a half furlong still to go. Storky Dove in front. Over the 14th, mistake by Queen of the Night. Seen that one drop back into fourth with the widow going past it. G Round Citizen is getting considerably closer. Go to Mallorca Dream as they get over the 15th. And all safely over the 15th. And straight after that, the 16th. And past the football pitch we go again, and we're going to take those railings again now, aren't we? Or are we? We just run past them, we've got up the other side of the chute. And I think we probably have. So, Storky Duff. 
I have been joined by Bridge Paul as I take this ditch from the Widow in third, then Queen of the Night, then G Round Citizen. A big gut buck to the rest of them are headed by Sizzling Tail. They've got some ground to make up those as they take the 18th, and Storky Dove has regained the lead from Bridge Paul in second. Queen of the Night is third, the Widow going well in fourth, G Round Citizen in fifth, and there's a gap back to Wooden Ship and San Pedro Cartel and Zara Cover who are trying to run on. Passionate Queen's making some ground from the back now after not looking interested earlier on, but it's Storky Dove who's still the leader. Storky Dove is still three or four lengths clear of his stable mate, Queen of the Night in second. Then comes Bridge Paul and the Widow. Wooden Ship is next. Then Jiran Citizen. Gap back to Sizzling Tail and Passionate Queen and Zara Cover as they head for home. Then they've got just two to get over. And it's Storky Dove who's three lengths clear of his stable mate, Queen of the Night. Then comes the Widow and Wooden Ship over the second left. Really good jump on there. A fall and there was Bridge Paul. And it's Storky Dove in front. Storky Dove from Queen of the Night. Widow is in third. Then comes Jiran Citizen over the final fence, they go slow jump by the leader as allowed Queen of the Night to get into the lead and Queen of the Night's gone on but Storky Dove is trying to fight back, here comes the Widow in third between these and as they race into the final half furlong it's Queen of the Night in front from Storky Dove and the Widow and Queen of the Night's going to take it up towards the line, Queen of the Night just holds on from Storky Dove and the Widow, big gap back to Jiran Citizen, San Pedro Cartel, the contract wooden ship and John Morgan I said earlier, when he puts them in, he thinks they're going to win. And he's got a 1-2 there. And the pre-direct drag matter, Queen of the Night takes it for John Morgan, who was also second with Storky Duff. The Widow third. Oh, Joshua Sutherland, Giran Citizen, David Robertson was fourth. And San Pedro Cartel for Vinnie Gerard was fifth. <laughs> 